Welcome back everyone, live here for theCUBE coverage here in Las Vegas for VMware Explorer 2024. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE with Dave Vellante, my co-host, our 15th year covering the event. We've seen all the stories. Now the new chapter is ex executing and unfolding. Pranima Padmanavan is here, uh, Vice President of the General Manager Townsend Division. Pranima, great to see you. Great to see you both. Thanks for having time we saw you in theCUBE studios with James Waters, breaking down Tanzu, but you got news. Yes. You've been holding it out on us. <laughs> Tanzu we, 10. Yes. Strategic alignment with VCF, Tanzu 10. Give us the update. Yeah, so um, we announced Tanzu Platform 10. And uh, as you said, it is very tightly aligned with VCF. So let me get to that part right away. So the first part of Tanzu 10 is we are bringing the reinvestment and the power of Cloud Foundry back to the Tanzu platform. And Tanzu 10 brings in a single umbrella the choice of application runtimes. So you can build your application once and deploy it either to a Cloud Foundry based application infrastructure or application platform or a Kubernetes, either one, all within single platform. With Tanzu Platform 10, we also have a unified single console to manage your applications, look at your yeah. CVEs, security, governance, compliance. You can curate a set of simple developer experiences for your developers that work across Cloud Foundry and Kubernetes. So Tanzu Platform 10 really brings the platform together. And the second part is, it truly tightly couples with BCF. So you might have already heard, I think, Yep. You were trying to bring, you were, we, when we were chatting earlier, you had brought that up, which is the core Kubernetes runtime is now baked into VCF, which is called the Tanzu Kubernetes Grid. It is made available with VCF, just like public clouds have their runtimes, EKS, EKS, GKE. Tanzu platform layers on top of that TKG runtime and gives you the application platform, the ability to build your application fast the ability to deploy it with a single command, the ability to scale it, the ability to secure it. What's becoming very clear now to us on theCUBE and others is, uh, Chris was on earlier talking about VCF, the transformation within VMware, his simplification of his organization, also VCF simplification and transformation, customer transformation. They're making the infrastructure modernized, but you attach to that. If I'm a customer, I'm going to get good ROI on the cost with the subscription, might be confusing now or inconvenient yes. budgeting wise, but at the end of the day, it's going to get more product roadmap updates from him. You're coming right along for the cloud native developer piece because you sit with VCF from a customer standpoint. Explain that power dynamic because that's huge and that's not obvious to everybody out there. No, th thanks for asking that question because that's very critical. So what did VCF, we brought together vSphere, NSX, vSAN, truly with management creating the common solution and now you can put the VCF and you get a cloud dial tone with both for containers and for VMs. With Tanzu, we have done something similar. If you remember, we had so many different products on Tanzu, right? We have brought together all of those products under one umbrella called the Tanzu platform. It allows you to, it gives you the flexibility to develop, operate, and optimize your applications at scale and deploy them onto VCF, but also other clouds but the VCF pairing is very tight. So now if I already have VCF, if I layer on Tanzu platform, suddenly I have unlocked all my developers. Because now a developer simply has to write code. That's it, that's their job. From there, taking the code, building it into a secure container, binding it to all the external database services, AI ML models, deploying it at scale with high availability across the VCF environment, and scaling it out is all taken care of by the Tanzu platform. So, so it's a very beautiful combination. So yeah. the, the artist formerly known as Aria is now part of that, the multi-cloud capability, which we haven't heard much about. We've heard a lot about private cloud. Yes. Tanzu inc incorporated a lot of, no. a lot of um, cross-cloud, multi-cloud, um, compelling value props. Is that still in place? So let us separate the multi-cloud pieces, right? So art is formerly called Cloud Aria, or <laughs> yeah, yeah, we yeah. realize it's all part of VCF. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay that's in VCF. For, it's VCF, okay. yes, it's used within VCF for orchestration. So for Tanzu, we tie very tightly to VCF, and now on top of VCF, you can seamlessly deploy Cloud Foundry-based workloads on VMs, or you can do Kubernetes-based workload yeah. on the uh, Kubernetes clusters, right? Yeah. So that is one part. In addition, 
Tanzu, can many of our customers take our Tanzu today platform and deploy it on public clouds like AWS or GCP or Azure. And many times they have on-prem installations as well as a public cloud installation. So the product is the same product. Yeah. I think that is the important thing, which is just like VCF is one VCF product. It can be deployed on-prem, it can be deployed on Azure, Google, or... Customer uh, can use it wherever they want. Wherever they want. Same thing with Tanzu platform. It runs against the TKG within VCF, but it can also run against AKS, EKS, or GKE, yeah. and against the VMs. Great, thank you. VCF doesn't have really a developer angle. What's interesting about Tanzu is you're now tightly coupled with VCF, or not, but if you are, you're better together. And yes. you can, the developers just code and it runs across the VMware, VCF product, and that's significant. And because this has been a conversation, I want to get your thoughts, because some people are like, well, why do we even need VMware? I'll just run in a container and I'll run bare metal. Yeah. You're pointing out that there's advantages if you already have VMware yes. with Tanzu. Explain that, because it's very nuanced, but this is a conversation that's out there. I think this there. is an important one that we have to keep reiterating, right? When you get VMware, you get a, when you got vSphere, you got the ability to be, uh, vend containers. It didn't mean you got a cloud, right? So VCF now gives you a cloud surface. Similarly, now in vSphere itself, you have the ability to vend containers, <laughs> Kubernetes clusters, and that is all part of the private cloud. Now Tanzu is an application platform, and it is an application platform that runs on containers, either on Cloud Foundry or Kubernetes. If you have VCF with Kubernetes, it is magic. Because now, with a single click, Tanzu installs on top of VCF, it consumes the Kubernetes environment on VCF and curates an app platform. Now, you don't want application developers to be writing Kubernetes YAML files and configurations. You just want them to write code. Yeah. They throw it at the Tanzu platform. Tanzu platform then orchestrates it on top of VCF. So the answer then, you would say to the folks who are considering it, what information would you say to them why Tanzu, because is it more complex, too many moving parts, they're wasting their time. What would be the, the, the story there? Hey, value look, prop. First of all, with VCF, you've already got the Kubernetes runtime, so you don't need to go to anybody else, yeah. right? That is first part. Second part is now, with Tanzu, you seamlessly can get your entire application platform on top of VCF with a single click. You are not managing five different piece parts and trying to get all that complexity and stitching it together yourself. We take care of all of it, and the, the advantage is your code to app goes down from months or weeks to a day. So I got to ask on the, I saw a lab over there, uh, which I thought was cool, chat GPT kind of integration. How, it brings up the question, how does Tanzu AI, or AI solutions on Tanzu or whatever, I don't think that's the product, I just made that up, but um, if I want to run generative AI at workloads, or capabilities with Tanzu, how does that integrate? Great question. So first of all, you, it's not a separate product. The AI capabilities, Tanzu AI, Spring AI, are all included as part of Tanzu platform. And one of the powerful uh, features is, look, most enterprise apps, as we talked about, are written in Java. Now, as an enterprise app developer, if I want to incorporate Gen AI capabilities, I have to switch languages. It's too hard. So what Spring AI does, is it stubs out all the pieces that you need to connect to a model, to do the evaluation, to do the embeddings, and you simply write your code, and then you can easily connect to model of your choice, which can be served up on top of VCF or any public cloud. Just hit the API, and I'm in, pretty hit much. Hit the API, and you're in, and more importantly, you can swap out your models, but you don't change your code, right? Because uh, it's all cleanly interfaced through the APIs. All right, what about support for private cloud environments? The support for private How cloud, support? especially private AI, yeah. is baked into the Tanzu platform. So when, what the private AI does very well is model serving, right? So you can easily now create models, but you can also lifecycle manage them, and you can run them efficiently on top of your GPUs. Mm -hmm. What Tanzu does is, when these models are created on VCF, they yeah. automatically get registered to Tanzu. So then app developer suddenly gets a catalog of models that they can use, and directly plug it into their Java apps, yeah. or into their, yeah. uh, into any code that they may be writing. 
It's interesting, you know, we're seeing more and more action on the developer side. Here at Explore 2024, I have to ask you, since you're here, what's resonating? As, as people start to, as the fog lifts around what Tanzu and VCF is, people are starting to see visibility into the, the value proposition. You guys yeah. are getting the story cleaned up a bit. Um, as they see that, what's resonating? I mean, you've had many conversations, we've talked off camera about how it's all evolving and the greatness of this, that, and the other thing. What's resonating with customers? I when, think one of the things is, uh, and, and Hawker sometimes alluded to it, what we did with Cloud Foundry and Pivotal was pioneering, and it truly solved some very critical problems for enterprises. Problems of how do I go from an idea to production very fast by building a code and letting a platform take care of everything in a very systematic way. And so to some extent, what we are doing is reinforcing back on those messages. And there are three main messages. Keep it very simple for the developer. Never expose YAML files, configuration files, kubectl and you know, lower level configs, Bosch, none of that. Just give them simple interfaces, say build my container and deploy, okay. that's it. Number two, make sure that the deployment is dynamic and it automatically adjusts to the app needs. You just say, I want HA. You don't have to tell me which cluster, how to connect the network, how to tie it all together. We will take care of it. And then the third one is, you want to do continuous update, repair, and continuous security. All these are actually pages from the Cloud Foundry world that now we are bringing to Tanzu platform as yeah. a universal tenet that applies across everything, whether you deploy on Cloud Foundry or on Kubernetes. And this is in Tanzu 10? Tanzu platform 10, yes. Okay, and then how is the roadmap resonating with customers when you talk to customers them? Customers just love the going back to developer simplicity. The customers just say that, look, I don't want Kubernetes for Kubernetes sake. That's just a technology. For the, I think we have to transform the conversation in the industry from Kubernetes as a technology to Kubernetes as a means to an end to have an app platform yeah. that can truly accelerate development. Yeah. And that is what customers, especially customers who have known us from the past decade of pioneering yeah. in the Cloud Foundry space, they just yeah. love it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, Even Kubernetes customers who have been doing DIY, they are saying, I've been doing DIY for three years, two years, and I haven't gotten anywhere. I was just yeah. talking to a large bank a few minutes ago, and they were saying that's what the same thing. Yep. Yeah. It still doesn't work. So now, having something that is fully a complete solution, it's just like VCF, right? Tanzu platform is a complete solution. Yeah. It's yes, like that do. meme on Twitter with Ned Stark. You don't just deploy Kubernetes. <laughs> <You know? laughs> no, the thing about Kubernetes is that it reminds me of in the OS you do world. Now. <laughs> in, the, in the OS world, Linux was when it got to a point where it was hard and no one talks about it other than it runs on Linux. Exactly. So Kubernetes is kind of having that moment. Yes. You see something similar in VCF with the runtime. Yes. It out is of the just way. there. It is just there. That is exactly right. Yeah. So you dial away Kubernetes as a runtime and as a VM, as a dispens VM dispensing is just there, and then it becomes how do you configure the Kubernetes and how do you make the app run on it? Yeah, I love the Cloud Foundry throwback, and I think that's cool for developers. The other thing that comes up, and I'll get your reaction to this, is that complexity and get making things simple and easy to use is another big focus. <laughs> how is that uh, factoring into the future of Tanzu? Because you know, it's not just Cloud Foundry, there's other elements now, integration, APIs, data mashups are back with yes. small language models, we heard uh, from Krish on that, small, and, and the Edge, uh, from Sanjay at the Edge group. I mean, small language models are going to be really important at the Edge. Developers want to tap that too, so we have a whole data engineering thing, it's still complex. Yes. So look, um, the theme of this conference is simplicity and at multiple levels. The first one is, I would start with the Tanzu platform, gives you SKU simplicity, it's a single SKU, and with the SKU you get the ability for run times, full spring support, complete integration into all your standard data services like Postgres, MySQL, RabbitMQ, complete ability to do API gateways and cloud gateways, and full ability for configuration management, all baked into and integrated into a platform. And the nice thing about this is that we take care of the integration rather than customers taking care of the integration. And which means now you can take this form factor and make it available anywhere. Well, it's awesome stuff. We're going to have 
Krish on with NVIDIA next. Um, we're going to unpack more about how VCF's working. Final personal question, in your journey through the process now, we're here at Explore, looking forward out in the 20 mile stair, what's next and how do you feel? Um, share, share us what's on your mind. Well look, um, I think we are coming back to the market with a very um, a, a evolved perspective that has kind of gone through this crucible in the last year and the perspective is really don't focus purely on cool technologies, but focus on how can you stitch the cool technologies into complete solutions that drive value for the customer. And I think that's kind of the gist of sometimes what you hear Hawk say, which is in the past maybe we were caught too much by terminologies and cool technologies, rather than saying, how do I stitch together a complete integration? How do I yeah. solve the boring parts for you, yeah. right? How do I store, store, solve, how does it install seamlessly? How do I upgrade? How do I patch? Boring parts. We are now taking yeah. care of all of that with Tanzu platform so that you just have to write code. And funds, and it allows and funds the developers more time to build cool exactly. applications. Exactly. That Not actually run with intelligence with Gen AI. Absolutely, and more importantly, it also means that once the code is written, the business is not waiting for six months to get the business value out of it. You get it out in a day or two. Hey, yeah, compress that. Pranima, great to see you. And again, stories coming together. Congratulations. More work, do you want to see more attach rates to VCF? That is exactly what we want. I can't wait to see that. Yes. <laughs> great. great, great to see you. Thanks for Thanks coming on. For okay, I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante. We're here live in Las Vegas for VMware Explorer. We'll be right back with more CUBE coverage. Sharing the data here at the edge of the network for you. <laughs>